What's up everybody, Driftwood here, and this is just a release of my first demo in Game Maker Studio 2. It's a very crappy space shooter game, and I hope you like it. Space Driftwood, press enter to start, press enter. We get a, a little tutorial menu here where we can WASDA to move, escape to pause, left click to shoot lasers, right click to launch a bomb, and we can press M to toggle the music on or off, and let's press enter to start. We're using some of the things. The only thing I've added that's not been put in the tutorial is the score. So now there's a scoring system. So if we kill these ships, you'll see that we get 100 points for the frigates, the smaller ships. And we get 300 points for the cruisers. And we can launch a bomb with right click. And they all take damage. All of the sound effects were created uh, just by me making noises in Audacity. We pick up these little minerals, which are loot drops. Um, I've increased the difficulty by adding more ships. Um, let's go ahead and dock in the station. Uh, I've increased the difficulty so that uh, more ships spawn at the start. I've set the player to the center of the map uh, instead of to the top left corner and I've set the station in the dead center of the map. Um, and basically I've made it uh, the spawn rate of the enemies uh, so that it'll increase. It'll get, they'll spawn faster and faster the higher your score is to increase the power, uh, the, the challenge as you increase your laser power. So if you don't have five minerals, you can't increase your laser power. It used to give two. I set it to give you just one laser power to further increase the difficulty and add some play time to it because it'll probably be like a 10 minute game and you're done with it, you know. We press, uh, we can spend one to restore our HP back. It uh, keeps our score right there. We press spacebar to exit the station. And then um, the ships will start coming out again and they will spawn as uh, pretty quickly right at the beginning there's a, a big uh, slurry of them probably like 10 of them that'll spawn that's why your bombs will come in handy even when you level up your laser you can launch a bomb and take out a whole wave of them after they've been damaged quite a bit they collide into you you take 20 damage you have 100 life if they shoot you with a laser you take 10 damage so you know the kamikaze ships are going to do more damage we'll repair our ship and increase our laser power now our laser is going to do 11 damage um, and that's pretty much it. You keep going until you either die or you, you get done. You're done playing it. We can press M to toggle the music on or off. And we can press escape to go to the pause menu. And our score is there. And uh, that's basically it. So we'll go ahead and die now. And you'll see it just restarts the game. So that's it. Um, we're going to make several of these types of games. Just little tech demos and learning. Uh, I, I've learned a lot making just going through this project. Um, so I, I hope you guys have learned some too, uh, Learning Game Maker Studio 2. What's cool is now we get to start from scratch again and reuse some of the things that we've already learned how to do and learn some different things, right? We're going to start looking at tile sets and the new tile set engine ha that the engine has. Uh, it's really cool how you can layer the tile sets and you can use multiple tile sets on the same map and even have collisions based off tile sets instead of objects now which is really really cool it's a powerful thing so links in the description below you can download space driftwood for free um, thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this quick uh, little introduction I guess I could go over the code um, for those of you who just wanted to uh, the update announcement that's it for those of you who are interested in learning the how I did the changes adding the scoring system I'll go ahead and, and look into that right now so only thing I did was on the spawn rate for your uh, object's uh, ship spawner, basically instead of setting this to a, a number, which was 120, which is uh, every frame of the game it takes down because we're setting it to an alarm. So instead of every two seconds, we're setting it to the maximum value between 30 and our score divided by 1,000 times negative 1 plus 90. So right off the bat, this is 0, and then this is going to be 90. So it's going to take the highest number between 30 and 90. So right off the bat, it's a every second and a half a new ship will spawn but as you get more and more uh, kills your score goes up say when you have thirty thousand points this is going to equal to negative thirty let's see thirty thousand divided by a thousand is thirty times negative one negative thirty so you have negative thirty plus ninety it's going to be sixty and it's going to take the highest thirty or sixty so after you have thirty thousand points it's going to spawn a ship every second and then after you have sixty thousand points it's going to be this is 30 so it's going to be what the higher of the 30 or 30 so it's uh, after you have 60,000 points it's going to be at maximum spawn it's going to be every it's going to be two ships spawn every second so that'll be a good challenge 
and I didn't want to increase it any farther than that, so that's why I set it to using the function of max. So um, two ships a second is going to be pretty good, pretty good. So um, because of that, I had to add some new variables to object status. You can see that I'm using object status .kill score. So I created that variable uh, on the status, and we'll look at that in a second. And also, I'm referencing in order to add to our score when we kill the cruiser. You know, we get when its HP is below zero, we get its loot drop, destroy it, and play sound effects and and whatever animation. Uh, also, we're doing a with other or actually with object underscore status because we're changing kill score by a plus equal 100. This is where I'm setting how much score I want to give for the cruiser. So the cruiser is getting 100, and the frigate's getting. I guess I I set them both to 100. I probably could just set that to 200 or 300 to give you more points for killing the cruisers. But um, yeah, that's basically it. I did the same thing with the frigate here. And uh, the status, all I really did here was created a new variable, kill score, set it to zero from the beginning. Oh, one other thing I had to do was, this is probably something you guys might, uh, might have encountered before. You set all your variables up, but when it loads, it says it can't read the variable something you've already declared it may be an instance creation order error so you might want to look at the bottom left hand side here you can decide what gets uh, put into the game world first so when we load this map it's going to load the player first the, then the status then the smooth camera then the ship spawner and then all the ships I had to move this around because it was loading the ship spawner before the status and then the ship spawner was looking for a variable uh, kill score in the status and it said okay it can't find kill score because it's loading ship spawner before status it was like this or something so all I did was click and drag it and brought it up to the top so that the status is drawing is is being created before the ship spawner and now when the ship spawner references that variable inside of status it's there because the status has already been created so that's a little tip that um, I'm thinking about doing like a tips and tricks video on Game Maker Studio 2 but um, that's for another day. That's really it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoy these Game Maker Studio 2 tutorials and uh, the release of the first little crappy quote-unquote demo. Uh, let me know if you have any special requests. I'm still learning myself, but I've uh, learned quite a bit in this first month or so using Game Maker Studio 2, and I'm having a blast. This is such a good and powerful engine, and I'm probably in the next, the next tutorial series that's uh, going to start probably going to be like a farming sim kind of game but very very basic using programmer art and then I'm also going to show you a few websites you can use to get free art to use in your projects royalty free so yeah that's it for this video please give it a thumbs up if you enjoy this video and you want more Game Maker Studio 2 content and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new here I have lots of RPG Maker MV tutorials I've got some Game Maker Studio 2 tutorials I do first impression videos for your projects I'll do first impression videos for your Game Maker Studio projects uh, if you want me to do that um, I've already got a ton of RPG Maker MV first impressions made and people send them to me all the time if you would like to send me your projects please come check out our discord server I have a discord server right here link will be in the description below you can come here and you can promote your own stuff. If you have like a, a really, really, if you want to promote your stuff, this is a channel where people come in and they can post links to their website, post links to their YouTube channel, and it's cool. I'm totally fine with that. Come in here and self-promote yourself. Um, links in the description for the Discord channel. Um, if you're a Patreon backer, you get special roles to add everybody and do text-to-speech commands. And... Uh, yeah, there's not that many people online right now. 48 plus 6, that's 54, 55 people. We have a bot that um, shows really, really cool cat pictures. If you want cat pictures, or maybe it's T... Oh, no, it's like that. Yeah, and it just spits out cat pictures. So, uh, yeah, there's, there's a thing. <laughs> so come in. I'd love to have you guys join the Discord server. And if you, what I was getting to is if you want me to play your game, I'd love to do that. Um, when you join Discord, just right-click on my name and click on Message. It doesn't let me message myself, but like say that would be me, you'd click on Message, and then you would just type in a message. You can send your Google, your Google Drive link or your uh, whatever upload service you have. You can send me your game right here. I would prefer this method because it's easier for me to, to go back and find the link if I need to. Um, so when you put a link in, in the, the YouTube comments, it usually gets flagged to spam. And uh, if you email it to me, I have just a mess on the email. So it's really, really, uh, I would prefer you to just join the Discord and send me a link for uh, your games in the future.
But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoy these tutorials. I'd love to see you on Discord. And um, check out the game. It's free. Link's in the description. Download it for free and, and have fun for 5, 10, 15 minutes. And let me know what your top score was. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.